Hello everyone, Fox here, and it's time to get back into it. Nightmare Zone, episode 94. Not sure if we're going to be able to complete all of the bounties in this episode, because I mean, like, a lot of these are some really huge mass production objectives, just having to make, what, like, the 2,700 bullets? That one, I mean, like, maybe it won't take that long, because we can use the ammo press on the... Basically, we can use both bullets and material. We can use ammo and materials to mass produce the cheapest ammo types in the game that would be the 22 caliber rounds and the light crossbow bolts and uh since i have a munitions expert we get to make even more bullets so we're gonna make i think like 75 ish bullets each and then with the uh we've got someone with craftsmanship and we got the bolt crafting toolkit and i think that means we're gonna make like 60 arrows each and uh, i mean that's not a bad thing considering that uh, those are the probably the best ammo types anyways so we'll see Supplies are obviously pretty low right now. Is there anything we can do to fix that? Fuel, parts, meds. Let's call them the meds trader, even though we don't need to make meds right now. Are we looking to trade? Somebody's here to make a deal. Okay, so we can't upgrade to the level 2 kitchen. Because we don't have knowledge of cooking. So here we go, snacks. Oh, fortunately they only cost one food, so that's actually going to be a lot easier than I thought. Make sure that we are getting credit for it. Yes, we are. So we just have to, we just need to make a ton of these. So once again, it would be nice if I didn't have to constantly go through this like that. It'd be really nice if I could just hammer away on the button, but what are we up to? 36, so about halfway there. Another action is currently active. Oh, it confused me for a second. Uh, we've got 80, so we need 20 more. So we got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. There we go. So that's done. Took our food down pretty low. And uh, let's see. What can we do with our... Let's work on our ammo. So let's start making light bolts. Can't use up all of our supplies, uh, probably one more time. That puts us up to 660 rounds. So we could tear this down. And we can put the officer's quarters back in. Let's take this off and let's put the handgun ammo in. Yep, handgun ammo. Let's check our vehicles to make sure there's nothing else that we need to... Oh, here's our trader. Let's make a deal. Sounds like a plan. Right now we are just trying to restock because like I said, we're getting humongous losses from needing to, I got some stuff to do train. all these objectives. But at the same time, we're killing the play guards, which is also giving us our influence back. So we're just kind of recycling things. Yeah, I hate right. I had to hit it twice. I had to talk to the guy two times in order to actually open up a trade with him. Okay, nothing. What other supplies can we call in? Fuel. Don't need fuel. Don't really need parts either, so I think we're good there. And this is not installed yet, it's got a minute to go, so let's... Let's, um... Heal, lattice lout up. Because he is our Plague Heart Slugger. And I want to make sure that he is in decent condition. Get him prepared for his next mission. Here's his Bell Club. He's going to need some scent block. Might as well take all the scent block and those. 
And of course the pyro launcher. This one is fine. In the meantime, we will switch to a different character. Let's just play as Logan, our leader, who's way up top here. Oh, good. Yeah, we need to switch to Logan anyways, because he's using the pyro launcher. I definitely don't like it when our allies are defending with the pyro launcher, because they start to burn their own people. I grabbed this sample because the glow on it is distracting me, making me think that there's a zombie near our base. I need a rest. Good job. Our base is looking better and better. Oops, that's too many. Okay, let's install the S thing here. And let's go ahead and start making some ammo. So yeah, we get 75, 22 caliber rounds from that, which is good. Make as much as we can. And yeah, the, so you can make five less of the nine millimeters and 10 less of the 45 caliber rounds. So definitely want to make these ones. So that took us up to 1,000, and we definitely need more ammo. When's the next time we can call more ammo in? Food? Oh, we don't need food anymore. We need materials in 47 minutes, and ammo in 44 minutes. So yeah, we can't call any of those anytime soon. Which means it's uh, probably time to go out on a supply run. And we may as well take lo- No, let's go with- um, Let's switch this guy to the BFG. So he's not burning our own people. And let's play as Mackie so we can save some fuel. And we're actually going to use the, uh, the Broken Trekker for a change. Since we have a ton of 22 caliber rounds, let's go ahead and just use a 22 caliber weapon. It's as good as any of the fake AK-47. Get the Pyro Launcher out for safety. I don't want to reload it too, I'm getting tired of seeing its ammo in a weird place. Okay, now we're ready to go. Night has just fallen, so unfortunately we gotta do some looting at night. Not my favorite thing to do, but what can you do? So we want... parts and... ammo. Those are the two things we're looking for. More likely to find parts than we are to find ammo. Well, we're not gonna deal with those guys. Well, let's get a little bit of distance from them. Oh my god, no juggernaut too, jeez. Like everything right now. Oops. How do I turn the light on on State of Decay 2? Oh, that's the light button. Getting confused between the two games. Okay, this has potentially got... ...materials in it, so let's check here first. This dump is clear. Thank you, Santa. Fortunately, since we have fast, uh, we have um, stealth, we can do fast searching. Leave that behind. Can't do it. Okay, where is the next place we can go? That's a question mark area. Here we go. Mackie the Nightman is perfect for this job. Although those juggernauts are pretty close by. 
They... I don't think they will go this far, though, to be honest. No more dead fuckers here. There we go. On a roll. Which means we should probably switch this out back to the bolt crafting tool set. And we got uh, parts here as well. Because Mackie has both driving and stealth, the uh, he's great for these kinds of. Uh, that's why he's. That, you know, someone asked in the comment section, "Why do I call him Mackie the Nightman?" It's because uh, his set of skills are specifically designed for me to kind of play like carelessly at night. All that work for this. We'll take the parts since they stack. What do you know? We got like, uh, how many parts did we get from that? Almost 30. Don't need any of that. Let's check that one out next. And if you're really worried at night, I would say having two characters with the same kind of setup would be ideal, because then you could basically, whenever one of them gets tired, you could just switch to the second guy, and then you would just be constantly okay at night. Okay, that zombie screamed, which means... We might have some company, but all I gotta do is kind of just get away from that area. Damn it. Oops, I should have just unlocked it quietly. Not too big of a deal, though. Nothing here. Nice. Two more items. You can sell that. That's a uh, pretty good item to sell. And more parts to stack. Doing pretty good so far. We got like a decent number of material rucksacks. Still, we have to build so, so many of those bolts that we're going to need a lot in order to actually put a real dent in it. And unfortunately, the all of our radio call-ins are on cooldown. So we are still forced to do things the old-fashioned way. Okay, nothing. All right, there we go. Doing pretty good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where, where the heck am I? S sometimes the darkness just really is disorienting. Fuel. Won't say no to it, but it's not necessarily what we're after. Yeah, this one had two rucks. Oh, we got a horde over there. Let's go out the back. Fuel goes in. We got a room for basically three more rucks, I think. Including the being able to carry one on my back. And then we can dump all this stuff off. Yeah, we can do two more. 
So this building apparently still has more stuff in it? It shit still happens. I think it might just be glitched. Okay, let's see. Where else can we get some stuff? Oh, that's another one. That kind of off to the side area. This is what I mean by that uh, materials are really not a big deal because they are hands down the most common of the resources. Like, you can get a ton of materials and you'll it won't be very long before you overcap on them. At which point, you should just turn the additional ones into parts. So one thing that's back in State of Decay 2, I gotta worry about my fuel. One thing I started getting used to in State of Decay 1 is just having infinite fuel, not having to worry about it. Sasquatch here. Still on the lookout for your missing soldiers. Seems like they brought down the whole damn mountain on their heads. But I don't give up that easy. Sasquatch out. I am looking forward to doing uh, State of Decay 1 Lifeline so that you can meet Sasquatch the original time. Okay, we got the materials. Go ahead and put that back in. No. Shit, nada. Nothing. And no materials this time, but I believe we got a fuel. I can't remember if we got a fuel or what we got. We got some kind of wreck sack. I mean, we can only carry one more, so let's head back to base and dump these in. Then we can make more ammo. Egan's body is still there. We're still not going to loot it just because, like, we're going to continue to disrespect Egan. That's what he gets for having a bad skill. Even though I taught it to him, that's still what he gets. Someone left a comment said that it's only a matter of time before all the people that I've either exiled or got killed come back to take their vengeance on me. I I hope they do at some point in time. It'll be a, a, a good episode. Get our pyro launcher out. In the meantime, we'll deposit some of these excess items. Got to be careful because this weapon is actually pretty good at destroying cars. Thought we'd have to deal with the juggernaut, but I guess. Guess we got fortunate there. I want to move this car aside so that we can just park that one closer by. Good.
Okay, let's make some more bolts. We're gonna have so many bolts, jeez. At least I won't have to worry about bolts for a really long time. One more. Takes us up to 1,600, so we need basically a thousand more. Check our status. Still got a ways to go before we can call any more traders in, unfortunately. So where can else can we go to look for supplies? We got a bunch of these sheds. So let's check those out. Go ahead and refuel while we're here. This is probably the most looting I've done in a really long time. Because we just typically don't need to loot unless it's just something that's kind of pushing us to go out of the way. Because as you know, I typically try to automate things like uh, so I can do as little of the stuff myself as possible. That frees up the maximum amount of time to do other activities. And just having no resource, as low a resource losses as you can do, and having the... The trade depot just allows you to not have to go out and loot, but in this case, obviously, we got to go loot just due to the, the sheer quantity of materials we need, which is crazy. A lot of trash in here, but nothing I can use. Wait, this isn't the right place. It's this little shed right here. Which is more of a pavilion than anything else. Yeah, it's an RV shelter. Pretty good stuff. I'll take the energy drink as well. I'll take both of those. Pretty good stuff here. Including a rucksack. Okay, the next one is right here. Hoping we would get lucky and get some double rucksacks, just double material rucks, but... One, one material ruck per location is honestly not bad. Okay, they're just on opposite sides of each other, I see. So how are your bounties going? Have you been uh, going for them, or have you just been like, eh, whatever, I don't really care about the bounties, and have you completed them all yet? And if you've been messing around with the weapons, do you have a favorite gun of the group so far? I have a feeling the gun that I will like the most is the, uh, the Trailblaze, just because that one is the most effective, or the one that I believe to be the most generally effective. Good. Only one ruck, so that one was really easy to clean up. Okay, still got more sheds. What I like about sheds is they're so small that it's... Even without scouting, it's really easy to find the, uh... The lootable objects. Good. Oh, once again, there's only a single item there. 
What do we got? Got another one. Look out! I mean, just look how many rucksacks of material there are. That's what I'm saying. The every now and then I'll get someone who says they, you know, they're wondering where to get more material rucks. Just gotta look in sheds and construction buildings and stuff like that. Like once you once you know what the icons look like and basically what you're looking for, you'll find that it's very easy to. Was that a juggernaut over there? Yes, it was. Let's uh, back up from these guys. And we can come back to this one later on. It's not a big deal. That's another big lesson in Nightmare Zone is if an area isn't very safe, just get back in your vehicle and come back later. No reason to... continue looting an area that's really dangerous. Now, if I remember right, there's going to be a, a lot. I think the I think the area further south is like an industrial area, so I have a feeling well, there'll be plenty of stuff for us to get down there. We need a thousand rounds. Like that's still a decent amount, to be honest. Being able to call in more of the traders will help immensely as well. And if we could find any ammo, we had, we do have a hostile community nearby, which is annoying. But we could just avoid them for now. Here's our first stop. No sign of the rotten bastards. Not possible. Okay. Another single ruck. Better than nothing. Okay, so here's all the industrial areas, all the warehouses and whatnot. Area is a little dangerous, as I said, so we'll have to be... A little more cautious, but like I said, Mackie the Nightman was designed for these kinds of missions, and it works out pretty well. The combination of vehicle stealth and personal stealth just lets you just kind of... Oh, we, oh, we could have hit that bloater. That wouldn't have been too hard, considering he was just right in the middle of the road and I didn't notice him. The, uh, the vehicle stealth really wraps it up, though, and makes it really what takes it to the next level, because a lot of zombies will chase after you just due to the vehicle making noise. Oh, man, we got two. Rucksack and a... Or a, uh, a fuel and a material ruck. Right now, we don't really need fuel, but... I'm also not going to say no to it, because... Well, we always need fuel in the future, since we drive around so much. Hey, we got room for three more rucks. Two in the trunk and one on my back. Inventory is full. Well, that one was still pretty good. I thought we might have been able to get a little more out of it, but... No such luck. Let's just go on foot. Since they're pretty much right next to each other. No sign of the rotten bastards. Inventory's full, so we can't really take anything. Hmm. I wonder if these were special ones, because they both have a very similar item profile.
Let's destroy one of these or drop one of these. We don't really need fuel. Always them and the plague hearts. Fucking plague zombies must think they own this town. Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and head back since we got another delivery. Forgot about that bloater on the way out again. Bloaters are such a pain. Whether they're forming like walls out of their bodies and you just like either run into them or you have to like come to a complete stop and drive around them. Or they're just kind of like functioning as like a mine just laying on their back on the middle of the road. Very much a pain. Our bounties are coming to a close. I mean, we still... Like, the, the one that's really time-consuming right now are these bolts. These bolts are... I mean, that's a ton of bolts or ammo to craft. What am I doing? I need to continue driving along the road. I thought I... For some reason, I thought I was at the base. Probably because I'm getting tired. I don't know why, but uh, when I recorded State of K1, I was fine, but once I started recording State of K2, I started getting tired again. Probably my lack of sleep. Like, I haven't been sleeping too well for the past few days, which is why I might cut this sh episode a little bit short, just because I need to start editing this episode to upload it, and then, like, I do want to go to sleep a little early, because lack of sleep definitely has an impact on my ability to record. I was debating not recording today, but I'm like, you know what? I mean, you know, there's enough time to record. Let me just go ahead and do it. Okay, we got a feral. Get the pyro launcher out while I'm safe. <laughs> I can never find out how to drive. It's because it's so dark, I can't see the area I'm supposed to pull into. Okay, I think we got all three of the ferals. Oh, oh, I lied. Can't see him in all that fire, just looking for the influence to pop. Uh, notice we didn't get any injuries from that. That is due to the, uh, the special skill that we have for surgery. Reducing the probability of us taking an injury. Are we overcapped on fuel? Yes, we are. Let's go ahead and make some fuel. Let's just make a ton of these and get down to about 30 ish.
Oh my god, I'm just gonna throw it all in. And then just pull it all out. Like that. There. Oh, somebody still has a pyro launcher as a weapon. Okay, we're up to 36, which means we can still make more. Yeah, you can see here the bonuses. Craftsmanship and the bolt crafting toolkit. So let's keep spending those... materials. Probably good enough. Okay, we're up to 2,055, which means there's basically 700 to go. And we're so close. But still, that's still a lot. Can we call anything in? Not for 18 minutes. Let's find ammo. Somebody get on the horn and track down some supplies, okay? We will handle the situation for you. Clear my plague status. So where are the ammo? Down over here? Sure, why not? I really would like to get it with that before this episode is over, even though, like I said, I, I, I might just fight through the fatigue. I don't know for how much longer. I, I mean, I still want this to be under an hour long, but I might fight through the fatigue and just try to get this last... get this ammo one out of the way. I think I'll feel pretty satisfied if I get the ammo one done. Wow, look at all these guys. Jeez. Leave me alone. This one is easily the most time-consuming of them all. Even the, the melee play guard kills, that one isn't too bad as long as you have scent block and a halfway decent melee weapon. But oh my gosh, making this ammo, this one is uh, this one's going to take uh, some effort. Plague juggernaut, not too big a deal though. That's a big deal though. That's annoying. Go ahead and get out. Can't do it. Call medical advice so we can at least not have the trauma. Oh, I could have uh, picked the lock on that again. Unfortunately, this ammo place is empty. Aside from the uh, the rucksack that was actually generated due to us searching for ammo. Like, are there any ammo places in this entire area remaining, I wonder? Got some... Material locations. Plenty of material locations. Ammo gives us a better yield on our, um... Bullets, though, because it gets 75 instead of 60. For, uh, 6 ammo. Or for 4 ammo, and, uh, each rucksack gives you 6 ammo, which is pretty sweet. So ammo would obviously be the better choice, but... Yay, med kit. Okay, let's hit up some more of these areas for materials. Hey, at least the broken trekker is getting some value again. Yeah, I hear a bloater. Oh, uh, they are just taking a nap. Not a big deal then. Oh, 
All clear. Rucksacks. I'll take that. Won't take that. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, this should be our next target. All these little, like, sheds and whatnot, like, they, they're very rich in, uh, material rucksacks. Like, there's just so many of them scattered around. And while, obviously, they don't contain, like, a ton of rucksacks, I mean, if we're playing on standards, then we would find doubles a lot more frequently. Don't want that. Ah, this will probably have it. Yep. Okay. What do we got over here? Another rucksack of materials, potentially. This would also be a pretty good... I mean, honestly, like, if you don't need it for the bolts, like, this would also be a good way to just get more parts. Oh, God. I hear it. I'm not ready. To, I gotta change weapons. Okay, the door fell off, which is not ideal. Where did the feral go? I hear him still. He appears to be trapped inside the vehicle. I don't even know where the mission area is. Oh god, he, jumped. he actually made me jump there. He just like warped out of the building, like phased out of it. I'm not even intentionally attempting to do this mission, but I mean, since I'm kind of here and I've nearly survived it anyways, I might as well. these zombies let's go ahead and secure maybe she'll give us some uh, maybe we'll be able to call for ammo or something let's just uh, set these guys on fire yes wait what do you what do you have to sell Ammo! And then... Seriously, I'm ammo rucksack. Any team. Oh, she wants to join us. Well, let's go pack up our stuff first. We should also repair the vehicle. Because we don't want to drive around without the, um... The car door. That is... Inadvisable. Whoa! Screamer over there. So, uh, they were supposed to fix that. 
Make sure all my stuff is in here. Yeah, this vehicle is like severely damaged at the moment. We need to get it to a... Darn, I wish I was facing the vehicle so we could have seen that, but... I was turned away. As I said, though, yeah, this vehicle absolutely needs to get repaired, so let's head back to... An outpost. That was, uh, unexpected. That would- that bug was supposed to have been fixed. Okay, that two of them gets it completely repaired. That was, uh, very unexpected. Uh, that- that's actually never happened to me before, and it sucks. I wish I was looking at the vehicle. Cause then we could have seen it like take off, but slow me down. what can you do? Switch to a new character though, since this guy's banged up. Let's bring out Ladislaw. And I think this guy is basically good to go as it is. He's actually outfitted for Plague Heart destroying. Which, uh, I mean, we're starting to run out of time, so I'm just gonna go over here. And uh, we're just gonna pick up that stuff, because, you know, like, you know, we're apparently getting haunted, so we're just gonna grab this stuff, and I guess we'll complete the rest of it tomorrow. Or hopefully we'll complete the rest of it tomorrow. I mean, like, we've almost crafted all the ammo, but this one's just really tedious. Like, you've got to do, like, a ton of farming in, in order to actually craft a sufficient amount of ammo. It's definitely not what I would consider a... a difficult bounty, but it is a... what I would consider a time-consuming one. Honestly, I thought the explosives would be the, the one that takes the most, but... Engineering? Don't need engineering. Fine. Be that way. Take care. Let's uh, actually loot these last two areas, though, real quick, just because both of them apparently have parts. Or uh, materials, rather. Back to normal speed looting, because I don't want to attract a whole bunch of guys and have this get dragged out any longer than it needs to be. Where's the other one at? Ah, there it is. Duffel bag. Good. This will actually be a decent haul, considering we got, like, three rucksacks, and we might actually be able to... We, we might be cooled down on the calling in stuff, so we actually might be able to complete it after all. Because when we get back, our ability to call more traders in, uh, it might actually be that time. There's the ruck. No, nothing there we need. Alrighty, let's head back. While the car is starting, let's check. Call for resources. Yeah, about two minutes. That, it'll probably take us about two minutes to get back home. So yeah, we should be able to complete it with this remaining supply drop. Man, this, uh, this vehicle, though, man, like... I, it's so funny that I've never had that glitch happen to me before until they said... until Undead Labs said that they actually repaired it or fixed that error. I've seen some really, really crazy versions of that glitch, though, where you repair your vehicle and then your vehicle goes, like, totally insane. 
On the other hand, I have not been possessed in a while. Like, we haven't had one of those times where the vehicles just get completely... They just completely wig out and get possessed. Oh, jeez. Got some pop-ins. Screamers. Wasn't sure if it would be a bloater horde, that's why I'm driving a little more cautiously. Very nice. Let's throw this stuff in. Get inside so our community can cover us. Okay, first we'll make bolts. Actually, let's call in a, uh, some of the- can we call traders in yet? There we go, call in an ammo trader while we're doing this. Gotta multitask, gotta get as much done at the same time as we can. Okay, that's good enough. 2300, so now we need to take this out and install the handgun ammo press. There it is. And in the meantime, we can go get to the ammo merchant. Let's also just not use Ladislaw, let's use Logan. The reason for that is because uh, I don't want to fatigue Ladislaw when he's supposed to be preparing for a uh, plague art removal. Going far with all this. Okay, here she is. I think we can help. Guns are going to hit our home base. Rally the troops. Got a siege coming in. One thing that sucks is that she's only giving us two rucksacks. I'm looking to do some trading. Sure. Which stinks. Got anything useful you're looking to unload? Not? And she's not selling 50 cal rounds. Also kind of stinks. Okay, is this installed yet? No, it's got about 15 seconds to go. Gonna climb up here where it's relatively safe. And we should be able to make ammo. Okay, how are we looking at, uh, we're almost there. Let's make, uh, two more, I think. Let's make one more and just check it. Yes, this is the final one. Okay, so here we go. So I guess it, it, since we're basically at 54 minutes, I think what we're going to do is secure the base, log out, and then we'll just turn in all of the uh, all of the items all at once in a final episode and get like all of the uh, get all of the bounties. We got a lot of jerks here. Okay, we gotta clear out the remaining zombies. I'm in heavy carry, so I am losing stamina very quickly. Could have done a lot worse than you guys. Let's, uh, I need to be able to run, so let's go ahead and put these away. Check the perimeter of the base, because I don't know where the remaining zombies are.
Ah, it's a uh, crawler. There we go. For a while there, I thought we'd had it. Okay, so what we're gonna do next episode is we'll go kill the play guards with what remaining daylight we have, and then we'll have we'll just turn all three of these in because these are the final three bounties. And that's what we're going to do now. I don't want to waste any more daylight, so I'm not going to do, like, an end-of-episode recap. That said, I mean, we did a crap load of farming, and our vehicle bugged out. Those are the main highlights of this episode. At any rate, thank you for watching. Like this video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future State of K2 content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.